Hi, my name is Sam and I'm a physio from Moody for Better Health and today we're going to talk about Achilles tendinopathy pain. In this first video we'll talk about what it is um, and also what causes it and then there'll be a second part um, after this video discussing about management strategies. So Achilles tendinopathy uh, is pain localised to the Achilles tendon. So the Achilles tendon provides attachment for your calf muscles and inserts into your heel bone. The Achilles tendon functions similar to a spring, so it helps absorb forces when we land and also assists pushing us forward in activities such as walking, running, hopping and jumping. Um, you may feel pain that's localised in the mid part or at its insertion and you may also notice a bit of tendon swelling or thickening in these areas. People often complain about pain first thing in the morning as soon as they get up from bed and go for a little walk. And also typical behaviour for Achilles tendinopathy is pain at the start of an activity which improves within the activity around 5 to 10 minutes and then sort of returns several hours after that activity. Factors that can increase the risk of Achilles tendinopathy include an increase in training load, so more specifically um, increasing training volume or intensity. Um, however, other factors such as um, change in footwear, training surface, previous lower body injuries um, and other physical factors such as running technique and poor leg strength and calf strength and poor ankle and foot mobility may also increase your risk. So in the clinic we use simple tests such as a single leg calf raise test to reproduce your pain and also if you're more of an active individual we may need to um, use tests that increase load on the Achilles tendon such as hop tests or jump tests to reproduce your symptoms as well. It's important that we reproduce your pain um, in this situation so we know that the Achilles tendon is the source of your symptoms and also this helps to guide our initial management strategies which we'll talk about in the next video. So I hope you found this video useful in terms of understanding a little bit more about Achilles tendinopathy, what it is and what causes it. Um, please stay tuned for the up and coming video on how to manage it. So that'll include uh, both short term and long term strategies. And in the meantime, if there's any further information you require, please feel free to give us a call.